Hello, duckies! Andy Lippy here, back with a, another video, and today we're looking at kind of a mishmash of stream up and everything like that. So, you guys will know, less than a week ago, we released a new extension that Silverlink had made uh, for release on stream up, and basically, it was all about the prediction system and utilize the prediction API from Twitch that allowed you to create predictions on the fly. You could press a little button inside of Leoran board or anything like that to trigger any preset prediction within a couple of seconds rather than having to type everything in manually well some other things that it can do as well is actually use chat commands to create a prediction so rather than just creating a preset or something like that you can create predictions on the fly with chat commands this does mean that you'll be able to start predictions with a uh, mobile so if you're on mobile twitch or anything like that rather than not being able to do it because you have to be on the, the website to, to pull up the prediction menu now you can just do it just via chat commands it doesn't even have to be moderators you could choose anybody you want to do it as long as you know the basics of leoran board but it's super simple to do it's already pretty much pre-built into the actual deck that Silverlink has made, so it's so straightforward. Let's just get into it, you're gonna love it, all right? Put your rock in the stone, let's go. Right, so you will need a few things. You will obviously need OBS, because uh, you, you're obviously a streamer, so that's already happening. And you'll also need Leoran Board. So uh, Leoran Board is basically the tool that makes all this happen. You will also need an extension that's on StreamUp's website, which is streamup.tips. Uh, and it's a free extension that you can get for free, or you can it's donation where you can donate whatever you want, and it really helps Silverlink uh, and us create more kind of extensions. There is a video on the full setup, so if you if basic this basic setup is not working for you, go and see that video, and it will kind of go in depth on how all the buttons work and everything like that. Uh, it's just called Twitch Predictions. Just took steroids, like so, uh, and then you'll be able to follow it nice and simple. So I've got my OBS just here, as you can see, and I've also got my Leoran board with the stream up predictions already installed, ready to go. You will remember if you have seen that video uh, that these are example predictions. So when we tap one of these or execute it somehow, if we're using a chat command or something, it will basically create a preset prediction that will just go through to Twitch's API and start straight away. It's simple as that. But we want to make something on the fly. Say you're doing a speed run or something like that. I'm utilizing it a lot on my Final Fantasy 7 speedruns. Uh, it's really, really handy. Really, really handy. I love it. And uh, I want moderators to just be able to create anything but not have the pressure of having to be at PC. They can do it on mobile. So this all happens in this mod prediction trigger command just here. So the actual command for it, which you can completely change if you wanted to, but obviously don't change it too much if you don't know what you're doing. Otherwise, you might break it. But you can always re-download it and try again, which is the nice bit. So we edit Twitch triggers. You can see that the actual uh, command we've got is exclamation mark prediction and exclamation mark prediction and then a wild card, which is a star. That just basically means anything you type after prediction is being held as the, the information and you'll see how that works in a second. And you can actually go through the commands if you want to see what, what is actually happening and maybe learn a little bit how this sort of stuff works. It might be a little bit overwhelming at first, but trust me, it, it's super simple once you, you kind of start understanding. Just, just ju jump in there, have a little look. But obviously, if you break stuff, then re-download it, start again. So I'm just going to hit done and done again, okay? So we're going to have a prediction start. So to do that, we need to type in exclamation mark prediction, like so. I'm just going to copy that, press enter, and it's going to come up. Prediction setup started for Andy Lippy because I've got my Leoran board and everything connected to to um, Twitch uh, and OBS. So we're going to actually get an on-screen element when, once we start the prediction as well, which stay tuned for because I will be doing a video on and it will be a release on stream up. So make sure you are subscribed. Please enter a title for the new prediction. Start typing exclamation mark prediction and then the title of the prediction. Or type exclamation mark prediction stop to stop at any time during setup. So I'm going to type in exclamation mark prediction. Does this actually 
work. Remember, there are certain limitations with the predictions. You can only have a title that's 45 characters long max, and the answers have to be less than 25 characters as well. So I'll press chat, and it'll say title specified. Now please enter the first answer, start by typing exclamation mark prediction, then the answer, similar to what we did before. And this is where that wild card is coming in. It's allowing us to just pull any information. So I'm gonna put yes. And it's going to say answer one specified. Now, please enter the second answer. Start by typing again. So we do exclamation mark prediction and we'll do nope. Oh, and press enter. And then once that's done, we can now enter how long in seconds the prediction should be running. So start by typing exclamation mark prediction and then a number between one and 1800. So this is a how long in seconds. So I'm going to do prediction and do 60 for 60 seconds and press chat. I know I'm doing this on PC, but this will work on mobile because we are I'm not using anything else. This is just happening through Twitch's chat. That is literally all it is. Twitch chat straight in there. So it's going to say, Andy, do you want to start the prediction? Type exclamation mark prediction. Yes, to continue or exclamation mark prediction and anything else to stop. So I'm going to do prediction. Yes, but I'm just going to zoom out so you can see. Once we start that, you'll see the prediction starts at the top here. We've got the on-screen prediction actually coming up there, which looks really nice. Uh, I haven't got anybody to vote on it because I don't have any friends, which is really sad. But yeah, that, that's really, really sad. But you can see the prediction has started in uh, Twitch's API just here. We, we could press predict if we were able to. Uh, you can see we, we set it for... 60 seconds and again this was done without using the uh, the actual prediction menu that people would have to normally do this is all done through just chat commands which is pretty huge i don't know how twitch has not actually added this already as a feature because i've heard so many complaints that people want to use uh predictions more but not being able to execute them especially if you're playing a game or like i say speed running or something like that you, you can't let go of the controller and start a prediction uh, if you're a smaller channel, but having something like this means that anybody can do a prediction for you as well. So you'll see the submissions have closed. We can actually cancel it at any point if we wanted to. So if we have a little look at the commands again, you'll see lock prediction. If we go into edit Twitch triggers, you'll see the command for it is prediction lock. So say if you set the timer for more than 60 seconds and really you only wanted it for 60 seconds, you could just type an exclamation mark prediction dash lock to lock at any point. You can change these commands to whatever you want if you want to. You change it to whatever you want and you can also choose who you want to uh, execute it as well. Hit done. So now we need to pick a winner. Uh, whether or not it's going to be answer one or answer two. So if we go to edit Twitch triggers again, we can see that the chat message is prediction win blue there. We can change this to whatever you want. So if I just do exclamation mark win blue, for example, uh, now when I press done and press done again and go over to here and type in exclamation mark um, win if I win blue, you'll see. The winner, the prediction results are in. The winner is yes, which is the blue answer just here. You'll see that there. The winner is there. So again, I've changed that command manually by just going in here. Super simple level stuff, this. Uh, just edit the Twitch command to be whatever you want inside of there. So if you think prediction's too long, you could do p dash win blue. And you could do the same for, for the startup, sorry. If you go to Twitch trigger, do exclamation mark p something exclamation mark p um or it's completely up to you how you want to do that which is really 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 handy you you can change whatever you want to anything uh it's all completely editable i mean there are other things that you can do as well with that information uh same with cancel that's prediction cancel uh i'll write down all the uh, the commands just below but it will be in the uh, the guide that Silverlink has actually put for this but that's pretty much all there is to it it's such a simple plugin but it will allow just so much more use cases 
for the prediction system. Again, I don't know how Twitch didn't add this in already. I think they were just focusing so much on the UI. I mean, they're, they're, surely most of the viewers on Twitch are using mobile. Like, come on. I've just looked at the time. It's 11.11. It's time for me to leave. All right, enough ranting. If you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon or the YouTube channel members down below. Uh, and yeah, you guys know where I am for the next video. Put your rock into the stone. Oh, by the way, the on-screen element for the uh, Twitch prediction is coming very soon with the changes to obs 27 that yeah i've just had to fix a couple of things certain stream up things aren't working so i'm a little bit behind but don't you worry it will be coming as soon as possible all right guys sorry for the wait but you're with the stone much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.